Morning Hawaii. Welcome back with Congressman Kai Kahele announcing he's running for governor. As you mentioned, it's creating a domino effect in the Hawaii political world with Hawaii's second congressional district seat open for the second time in two election cycles and candidates are already jumping in to fill the seat. And joining us this morning, former state Senator Jill Takuda. Thanks so much for being here. So this is it. You're making it official, right? Absolutely. You're right. We're making this official today here on Mother's Day. Absolutely, and, and, and a happy Mother's Day uh, to you as you. to you as well. Um, obviously, some big news in the Hawaii political world. There's there's obviously that domino effect. I know, you know, part of uh, Congressman Kahele's decision was that he wanted to serve closer to home. You initially ran for lieutenant governor uh, here in Hawaii. You switched to Congress. Obviously, a very different role. Why make that switch? You know, exactly for that for family. The whole reason I ran for lieutenant governor and started our campaign eight months ago was because I wanted to fight for a future that our kids could see for themselves here in Hawaii. We have two boys and I wanted to be able to make sure that they could, could have a home, have a career, have a family right here in Hawaii. And it's tough for a lot of families and people here. And when I went around the state, talked to people, they wanted to make sure that they had a voice in government, someone who spoke for them, understood the path that they were walking, our life that we were living right now. And I think that's critically important, especially so when you consider the federal delegation and Congress and making sure that in Congress, mm -hmm. uh, not only can our see kids see themselves in Congress, but our families really feel that they have a voice and a leader there that represents them and, and speaks for them, listens to them, works hard and fights for them. And, and that's really what this is about, is family. And I'm very blessed that on this Mother's Day especially, um, I have two boys and a husband. They're right there with me and they told me this is, this is our time and they need you there. And so I'm very, very blessed. Absolutely, you know, and family is so important. It's also, you know, creates, uh, of course, Hawaii so far away from D.C., you know, especially here in Hawaii, our congressional leaders historically, you know, Patsy Mink, Daniel K. Noe, they've tried to build up that seniority uh, by, by going to D.C. for a, as long as they'll, they'll stay elected. Is that your plan if you're elected to try and build up that seniority? Obviously, this is the first time we've really had uh, two elections in a row where it's been an open seat. Right. And, you know, someone who lives in the uh, second congressional district and seeing the legacy of Patsy Mink representing our community, first and foremost, what I learned from those examples is you have to really earn back that right to go back to D.C. every time, earn the trust and the, um, the support of voters. And if they'll have me, I definitely want to be in D.C. as long as possible to fight for our families and to make sure that they have a voice. But again, it really comes down to earning that trust over and over again, and the support of the people that you represent. And you know, you mentioned Patsy Mink. I know you were a founding member of the Patsy Mink PAC. As you know, the national level, of course, uh, abortion rights back under attack with uh, the possible overturning of Roe versus Wade. Obviously, here in Hawaii, uh, those rights are still protected. But at the federal level, is that something that you want to focus on in Congress? You know, I was up in D.C. when the um, announcement about the decision came out. I I was overwhelmed with anger, with sadness, frustration. I actually found myself at the middle of the night, at midnight, walking to the Supreme Court and joining hundreds of others right there at the steps of the Supreme Court to make sure our voices were heard and let them know we're not backing down. We're not going to sit on the sidelines on this fight. That while, yes, in Hawaii, we do have those protections, but we've got to really think about being there for others around the country where your zip code would really designate whether or not you had a choice, a, a, the choice to make decisions about your own body. And you know, that really actually, if you think about it, while we're safe here in Hawaii with the laws we have on the books, it really speaks to the fact that throughout our communities, especially in our rural communities, access to health care is not always equal. It does depend oftentimes on your zip code as to whether or not you'll get to access to the kind of care that you'll need to take care of yourself and your family. And so this is a much bigger fight, um, but it's a fight I think that I, is so important and I'm ready to be in D.C. to fight alongside everyone else and represent Hawaii and be that voice. All right, Jill, Jill Zakuda, real quick before we let you go, how can uh, people find you? How can uh, people uh, see uh, where you stay on the issues? You know, visit tokudaforhawaii.com. It's our website. Follow us on social media as well. And we'll be posting in the weeks and the months to come before this election uh, exactly what those issues are that we want to fight for. And again, a lot of those issues come from talking and listening to people right out there in the community. So it's really about elevating all of our voices and making sure it's heard in Congress. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Jill Takuda, for being here this morning. Thank you.